Alright, so this is the fire world. Um, a lot of insta-death situations going on in this world, which sucks, and I hope I can avoid them, but sometimes I just fucking die. Um, shit, I forgot about that guy up there. Um, kind of fucked that up. He, uh, there was a bat here in the beginning. Um, he like has explosives tied to him. He's kind of a suicide bomber, but I should have hit him with a charge shot, and he would have blown up the enemy off screen here. Did I kill him? I did kill him. Okay, cool. Um, these snakes, you like first the uh, snakes in the first world. You usually duck and hit them like this, but these ones they expect you to do that, and you'll duck down to hit them, and they'll spit fire at you. So you gotta do like a jumping attack on them. Um, that worked out a lot better than I thought. Those guys will just chase you down with fucking swords. Um, and actually, I think this world is the only one where there's not three types of basic enemy. There's just enemies. I don't know. They're just everywhere, basically. Um, they're all green. So I don't know what, but some of them take more hits than others, but there's not really a... It's not really a like doesn't it's totally different than the rest of the levels I just noticed but I don't know what are you gonna do? Um, these balls will kill you. Well, they won't kill you in one hit, but they'll be annoying. Um, if you land in any of these fire pits, you will die instantly. You'll just fry, and it's fucking terrible. But then you get you also gotta time your shit with these uh, fireball. Cause what these will do actually, they'll hit you, and then you do like a kind of stagger when you get hit, and you'll just fall into the fire, and it's just awful. But, and you, so you also don't want to double jump here because you will um, fall in fire. Kill this guy real quick. There's going to be a snake coming this way. Jump up and kill him. There's another guy off screen right here. I'm just going to throw a spear at him. Okay, these guys are also super annoying. They just throw fire wherever you're going to go. So, if you can kill them off screen, that's the best chance you have. But I can't kill this one off screen, there's a fucking pole in the way. So, this part sucks, and I'm probably gonna get hit, but we'll see what happens. And I didn't. Awesome. But yeah, those. I mean, the fire will just keep coming from those guys, and it just won't stop. Um, this Mjolnir right here is actually the most interesting one in the whole game. Because you, you just basically you go down this way, and it's like a whole new room. And there's like statues, like there's one, I, I believe it's a statue of you, having a pint and leaning on a walrus, because what the fuck else would a viking do, besides, you know, drink and lean on walruses. Um, I mean they did a lot of, vikings did a lot of unspeakable things, let's be real, but, um, not this viking, this viking is saving the world. Then there's a little, st I don't know what the fuck, this is probably a reference to another game they made. This little dude right here. Um, and then there's just Odin just sitting there looking very forlorn with his eye patch and his spear. And then there's a Mjolnir just chilling here. And then here's another, here's some more of those blobs, but they leave fire trails which can damage you because it, they just really want to make this game as tough as they can. Which, I, I mean, actually could be a lot worse, but. Fuck, I forgot. I do it every time. There's a chest before you come down here that you can get, but once you're down, you can't get it. And I fucking missed it. So that sucks, but oh well. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna go back up here. Uh, these guys suck. Blow them up. Jump down here. Alright, so this part is tough. So if you single jump down here, you land on this platform just barely. And you throw a spear in there and it makes a platform. That platform's gonna get you to a chest, but that platform is insanely dangerous to get to. So basically, the way this area works, or this chest right here, you're gonna go down here, and you're either gonna die, oh, get out of here please, you're either gonna die instantly or get a chest, so depending on how perfectly you can get it. Um, so what you're gonna do is jump down, like just fall down, and then um, do a double jump at the perfect moment, which right there, all right, perfect, so I didn't die, which is fantastic, and I got an extra life, so it's a win-win type of situation there. These fucking bats. So you can use those bats to kill other enemies, which is very convenient. Um, I just killed every enemy over here, which is awesome. Um, oh, my throat is killing me. So there's another like really cool enemy down here, which can also be annoying, but 
they also don't make any sense, right? So, it's like a giant, like, ripped anthropomorphic, like, snake. Like, see, he's got fucking sweet pecs and abs there. And he doesn't skip leg day, you can see. But, so he's, he's like, mad strong, but he doesn't, he doesn't, like, hit you or anything. He just sits there with a shield and he throws fire at you. And then he just sits there and takes these spears in the face like a fucking bitch. He just sits there. Like, I don't know about you, but if I was a fucking giant snake man with an 8-pack and, like, the power of a thousand suns and could also throw fire, I, you know, I think I'd kill a lot of Vikings, but I don't know. I can't speak for all snake men. I just, you know, snake lives matter, though. Let's keep that, let's keep that real. And these guys, see, they, they're just, they're just throwing fire at each other. Like, they were doing that before I even came in here. Like, I don't know if it's some kind of weird, like, hazing thing to join the snake men. Or maybe it's some kind of weird, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of, uh, gay snake man situation. I, I don't know. But, I'm not gonna get involved. I'm gonna sneak by here. There's another one. And like I said, they just take these spears. They just take them. So, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe there is, like, a, maybe there's, like, a phallic situation. There's just, maybe they, uh, maybe they like it. There's another Mjolnir there, obviously. Um... It's a nice crown. Uh, this, this this situation down here kind of sucks. Cause he'll throw those, and you can't actually kill him. So you gotta kill all the enemies without getting like hit with these. But I'm gonna, there's a fire guy off screen. I'm gonna kill. All right, so we're making it through this situation pretty well here. Um, I think the boss of this level was actually my favorite one, which you'll see relatively soon. Um. He's a giant snake, which is just, you know, I don't know when it's not badass to fight a giant snake. He's also, like, in the cover art for this game, basically. I say cover art. It's not a... I don't think it's a physical copy of Old Brother Viking. It's all um, digital download, I believe. But uh, I, don't, I don't even remember how much this game cost. It might have been, like, $15. It might have been 5 I really don't remember at all. But you know, if you pick it up, pick it up. It might be free with gold at some point. I don't know. I also don't know if it's on... Uh, only Xbox. I, I feel like it's an Xbox exclusive, but I, I really have no idea. Um, this snake right here, he'll, he'll shoot fire at you like an asshole. You can block it with your shield. Um, you gotta bait this bat here. Or kill him, I guess. Because <laughs> um, you don't want to hit him, he'll explode. You can trick him into jumping down. Um, there's nothing like some chains over some insta death, it's always fun. Time everything perfectly here. Uh, you can kill these. You can, you can break these blocks just by sitting here and swinging. I didn't realize that for a while. I kept jumping and hitting them, and sometimes that would make me fall to my death, which pissed me off to no end. But there's a golden walrus. They're worth 200 gold. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of insta death situations that just really fucking suck. Um,. And this whole area is just timing, like, fireball situations, like that. Then this one, go this way. And then you can kind of you sneak through there. And there's a chest down here. With another golden walrus. So there's another chest down here, which is really hard to get. And, like, I don't need to get it, but it'll be an extra life. So I could go get it, but also if I survive to the, through the boss fight, I can just get it in the next area. So that's a it's a strong debate for me, but let's we'll see what I can do here. Actually, I think I can kill this guy off screen right now. Yes, sweet. Yes, yeah, so there was a guy up here who was gonna fuck you up, but I killed him off screen, which is awesome. So maybe I'll go try to get that uh, treasure chest situation. We'll see what's going on. But there, all these all these assholes throwing fire. Uh, do I want to get that chest though? I don't know. I don't know, man. It's some tough shit. Cause I can get hit by that fire and just lose everything. I think I'll try. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. All right, I got it. Now let's get back without dying. And I did it. Wow. All right, cool. So I have. <clears throat> let's see. What do I got? I have 11 Valkyrie spirits, which is great. Um, I have this keystone, which is also great. I'm gonna grab that. And we're gonna go fight a giant snake. Cause it's metal as fuck. He's down here. He's actually one of the easier bosses in the game, but he takes 30 hits, so it takes a while. 
Um, he'll go off screen like that, and you can just walk away and then turn around and smack him. Uh, the music here is also awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Um, so he'll go off screen, and you walk away. Shit. Um, then he'll slam his head into the ceiling and drop spikes on you, and sometimes he'll also drop uh, the little fire blobs. And you want to deal with them immediately, because they'll fucking ruin your day if you're not paying attention. But, like, for being a giant snake, like, he's just surprisingly one of the easier bosses. Like, because all you gotta do is just not get hit with spikes and then kill the red guys when they show up, which they're not yet, which is easy for me. Um, it's really it. You just run away and you turn around and hit them. But make no mistake, I've been hit several times. I've been murdered on this, like, boss a million times, too. It took a lot of practice. And he dropped two of them. Great. Fuck you! Alright, run away, run away, run away! <clears throat> Alright, so he is on his way to death's door right now. Oh, fuck you, man! He'll drop either one or two. Um, he might actually be able to drop three, too, I don't remember. But, um... Oh, he's dead already, sweet. So then... His head just explodes, and then he's just a fucking snake. He's a headless snake. I'll grab this, get another life. I have 12, which is a really fucking good number for me right now. Um, and then you go on to the next world. After I do my gold pose. Dun, 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 dun. Look at all my gold. I am a rich Viking. And then this is so high, now I can just jump up here. And then this next world is one of my least favorite. Because it's so fucking annoying. So, it's just here. Uh, this is a, like, air level. Like, I don't know, there's just a whole lot of birds and stuff. Um, you'll, you'll see in the next episode. I'll show you. So, uh, hope you're enjoying this so far. I'm, I'm enjoying it to an extent. <laughs> um, <coughs> wow, that sounds like shit. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.